sponsored by Strategic Wealth Designers. Well, for your money now, the markets continue to react tonight to President Trump's return to the White House as he recovers to uh, recovers from COVID-19. This afternoon, he shook up the markets by announcing that he'll not pursue another stimulus package before the election. Now, the announcement caused a 600-point swing for the Dow. It closed down 375 points. The S&P and the NASDAQ also took a plunge. Now, the markets have been going up and down since Trump was diagnosed with COVID-19 last week. CBS4's Nick McGill sat down with Mike Reeves from Strategic Wealth Designers to discuss where things go from here. I'm joined by Mike Reeves and Mike, uh, even though he's back at the White House right now, what is the economic impact of the president's COVID diagnosis? Historically, when a president uh, does become ill, it creates short-term uncertainty. Market doesn't like, un, uh, doesn't like uncertainty, therefore the market pulls back. And that's what we saw a little bit of um, in the last week. However, over time, the market's gonna be more concerned about the economy. Is it expanding? Is it contracting? And if it thinks it's going into a recession, that's a bad word. So that's really more what you wanna look at over the long term. So focus more on stimulus here, taxes, the outcome of the election, uh, things that would change or could affect the economy. Yeah, the president's diagnosis was one thing, but with 2020, it seems like there's a major event really almost every other week and almost all of them impacting the market daily. What advice do you have for investors and day traders who really have to be exhausted by now trying to navigate this year? Well, you know, during troubled times, investors, obviously, they get nervous for good reasons. The way to uh, combat that would be a financial plan, something that I would like to call, our company likes to call a blueprint. And that blueprint is where you're at, where you're going, how to get there. If you, you know, you're getting nervous about what's going on, review your budget now, your budget in retirement. Are you prepared for that? Your uh, sources of retirement income. Um, and then after you kind of do those things and you understand that that's working for you or you need to make a change, that will create confidence. If you don't have an advisor that does that, this might be a good time to sink them out. If you do have an advisor and there is no financial plan, shame on them. There should be one. And then on top of that, if, if you are compensating them for managing your investments, they shouldn't charge for that plan. Don't let them double dip you. If they're being compensated for the investments, they shouldn't charge you for the plan. But that will create confidence and that'll allow you to live through a, a really difficult year in a, in a manner that's going to make you feel better about your retirement. Yeah, it's been a roller coaster year to say the least. You can find more financial advice from strategic wealth designers and CBS4 indy.com.